as stringent as anyone will, will ever experience. I, you know, I've been around White Houses in my political career, and, and I know what, you know, the, the security that's in place. Secret Service is very, very careful here. Uh, there will be checkpoints that will be moving. They won't be in the same place. Uh, there will be roads that are open one hour, and two hours later they will be closed. Uh, and it's just part of, of what goes into these things. There are certain seats in the hall that will not be filled and will be empty uh, because the Secret Service is not comfortable with it. So very stringent security. How long has it taken to get a security plan in place? Well, they're pretty experienced. And, and when Belmont was visited by our team uh, months ago, final selection process, uh, we had members of the Secret Service on that team, so they're familiar with the campus. I'm sure they worked up the plan a long time ago uh, and are very, very comfortable with what we got. How many officers will there be on campus? I don't know if you feel comfortable disclosing I, that. I'm not sure, but normally what happens, in addition to the Secret Service, you'll have local police forces, uh, and very often, uh, as we've seen in the first two debates, uh, they, have, they bring in uh, police uh, uh, assistance from other forces in the area, but I can't give you a number. And Frank, formally, this, this debate has been held